Hello, children. It looks like I lost all my progress from the other day. Which is wonderful. <clears throat> we'll take care of this real quick. Evening. Oh, oh, there we go. Change clues. <clears throat> Book scan. No coats. Oh, I got such a headache. Oh, can I save an outfit for me? It'd be cool. Let's see if I could see it. Nope. All right, let's go back. Okay. Outfits. Something's a rustling. Yeah. Cowboy Simulator 18. It sure is. How's it going? Get your game on. This game is so good. It is good. One of my favorites. I'll stick with this and uh, I just really wish they didn't completely shit on the online aspect of this game and actually uh, tried to do something with it. It was so heartbreaking for me when they were like, yeah, we gave up even before they even tried. Alright. <clears throat> I guess it's time for me to go do some stuff. Get back to where I was before. Yeah, no fuck you, Micah. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you. If I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. 
You come near me, sailor, and I'll slice you up. You put that knife down, or you're gonna be missing a hand, lady. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner! Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you! Well, come with me, then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? So Going I've graduated from chopping town. vegetables to shopping. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> Deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. Boring. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> Even talk to a woman he ain't paid for. Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All males be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that bag. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No, you insane. I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time... There'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Not to lie, I'm actually gonna go and change up my guns real quick because I lost all my progress last time. I've got deep pockets in this community, and we watch out for our own. Hope you remember that. Nah. That gun seems to be well taken care of. I can rifle the bell. We want a long. Like. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. I can improve the accuracy of that, you know. Oh, that's right. I need that. I do need to do that. That's great.
Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. What's my volcanic pistol look like? Oh, so well, I didn't do anything to it. Shining. Glad you take care of what's yours. <laughs> Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. A sniper. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad Where you take care of what's yours. That gun ain't shining. <laughs> Looks like you're taking care Lovely. of that weapon. Good to see. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Well, if that <laughs> gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Look at that knife. That could really shine with some carbon in it. I too will go in here. How can I help you, miss? It's Mrs. So I need potatoes, carrots, onions, flour, oats, salt, eggs, apples if you got them. Sure, not a problem. Big family, have you? Something like that. And you sell clothes? We I do. Never, uh, not the widest range of ladies' fashion. I can go in here, afraid. though. That's all right. I'll look at everything you got. Of course, Mrs. Kilgore. <laughs> Mr. Kilgore. You go get your mail. I love it. Let me see. I've never uh, never tried doing that before. That's a cool, neat little interaction that happens. Uh, we're, we're, we're in. Uh, I don't know what I put on last time. I think I got. Um, Chaps was one of them. I think it was these guys here. I think it was these chaps. Uh -huh. Um, and then I got that's popular. Was it these? No, ah, uh, shit. It's always the easier way to look. Um, was it these? It might have been those. Go with these for now. Who just let out a sigh? I'm sorry, my business not enough for you over here. If anyone should be sighing, it should be me, because I didn't want to have to do this again. Mr. Feeney over there. Gunsmith. It's never been the same since he lost his son. That's a damn shame. Well, this bird is actually look <coughs> a little bit sad, but... They fit the color aesthetic the best. Yeah. Those aren't bad either, I guess. They're not great, though. Uh, Have you ever seen such a clean and tidy store? Or such a bored man? This guy really doesn't want to live. Always running out of that. Um, um. A lot of 
folks like this. that. Some plated boots. Boosts. Don't worry, I'm almost done. I think it's these. I am almost dead. I think it's these. Uh, uh, See that statue outside? The one to fallen soldiers? Old Major Crawley put it up. He sometimes pops in here, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm impressed. Yarp. Yarp, I think, uh. How about. Uh, it, uh, there's a pair of pants. I think I had two. It was different because these things look ugly as sin. For my more discerning customers. I've been told they're, well, let's just say I didn't think rules was that kind of town. Fine. All right. I think that should do it. You looking for something else? Bye. I came here to look what ridiculous. By gosh, I nothing. did it. What do you mean nothing? Can you believe I just heard one of them planet? Oh God, let me go through the goddamn door, bitch. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie. Not lady. I know. Still rhymes. Yeah. So, you get everything? I think so. And some... New clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Well, you I can wear what I damn well want. My husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook, please. Hey there! Hey. What, uh, what you folks up to? Just mm -hmm. heading home. 
You're in Lamorne Raider country. Keep it cool. Steve. You need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? The toll is letting you live. Hey, what I said. Hi. How's about this? Go, go, go! We don't leave survivors. I need to know. Inspect document. William. I am right on you this letter. It's an ill R rates against the Jay Hawkins and Lawrence Keynes that have been successful. There are many times since we set out on this campaign, I doubted there was a God who loved us, but today, I have a glimmer of hope. That they call us Lamorne Raiders Bushwhackers and Border Ruffians does not diminish our fight for a free state and to be free from the incursions of Northerners set on changing our way of life. I hope you will continue to work to recruit more young men toward the cause in Lamorne. We will ride through their ranks and smack down the oppressors. History is not over and shall be rewritten. It is always darkest before the dawn. Sincerely, William Marcus Anderson. Ring to William who? Alright, gun. That doesn't look all that much longer. I will be taking all of your toys. Thank you. You have lost your privileges. here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Careful now. We show those bastards, huh? Can we pick up the pace here? Remind yeah. me not to get on your bad side. I didn't even and start right yet. Yeah. You did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hey, slow down. Don't bring anyone Can we speed these up? 
slow down. F1 lately, it's still booed. Really? I I was not a fan of Battlefield One. My last Doesn't one I really liked was Battlefield Four. Yeah, and I have not been able to play a Battlefield since. Anyway, don't you go I don't think I tried five, but I tried one. I didn't like it. Five just looked absolutely absurd for me. Yeah, I was not a fan of one. And I tried playing 2042, and that game was just broken, I'll be unbelieved. Awful. I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of followers. Not a chance. You didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well... They say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. I only got a silver for that, and I wonder if it's Arthur. because I was, um... Hey, Arthur. I was doing all my uh yeah. so tell me is your people uh, Jacobites are English lovers Arthur my people were peasants we had no time for politics I'm gonna skip this because I did this uh you just keep your cool you hear me did this the other day yep. right follow me Get How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. Sniffing around, sniffing around. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half. Other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for, then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I'd always pay me way, don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes, see? 
That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. All right. That laughter we left coming up. All right. It's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. I don't want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive. You know damn well, sure, I Hope only you know ever what use you're doing. Barrel shotgun. We'll get a move on. Although I'd probably use the repeater if I unlock that one. I do like that shotgun too. One of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Give you and your oh. dad here about five seconds to get the hell off my prop. Uh, look, we don't want no trouble. We just I do. Like, you know, oh. Big posse alarm and headed this way. What the hell, Arthur? I told you to hang back. That's just you. <laughs> You'll tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right. You... Heartless. You're a cold one, Morgan. Cold one. We're playing as the bad guy. So, Duh. here we are. You got some good stuff. Why don't you see what else you can find, Sean? I'm a little bothered too that they sped everything up online, so like you we take no looting you and switching weapons good. everything is like Let's see what the pay instantaneous is compared Focus to what it is in single ladies, player. We've got Robert that realism. They right, did it to appease right. the online players. Just before they said fuck all y'all. Like you could have just left it in at this point. Gives me more to do. You find anything yet? Don't want to overstay our welcome, do we? I'll stay for as long as I goddamn want them. Hey, Ain't it's over really there. Raggedy outfit.
two shits about a uh, double action. found a place, didn't I? All right. Here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right. Don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> There's got to be other places out there like this. camp yep. well, that'll do it Dogs! Want to cuddle me? Care of our horses, even if I am a bad man. Yeah. Rat and bother. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry. No, 
I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Come on. Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Yeah, I'll do that at my fucking leisure. Oh, that was a good thing. These raiders are insane. God damn it. I wasn't trying to be a good boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
family business. Coming through. You're good. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. That is some talent to be able to light a cigar. First of all, just lighting the match itself, but then also the cigar while riding a horse. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. This is where you had your rally? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mob, We must begin. They leave me alive. This is not matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally, I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food now, we now. fetch. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick, and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. 
Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it, but I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. It's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these yeah, people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I just shall make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. Almost there. <laughs> Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. Come on. Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you what doing? Hell is going on? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Shit! Oh, Cause all this you trouble. Sick. You don't even know what I'm going to do. and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help, Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. Probably uh got that ready. You don't want to go back, hear the speeches. I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She I learned, know who she right? is. Now, and... Penelope said, uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. <clears throat> but Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money, when my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. 
Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank you. I excuse me. Get a bronze for that? Why bronze? There's nothing to do. Cinematic camera, baby. sick all day. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Let's chuck some NyQuil. Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, but you can go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What? Are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, <laughs> and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Oh, I gotta take a little pause. I gotta go to the bathroom.
I'll be back in like five minutes.
I did it. Come on then, you miserable bastard. How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while well, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the road. <laughs> I've been watching them. All right. We best hit it quick, Dan. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Uh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be... Do any time now. Let's keep... It's quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey! Think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Out of sack. We'll stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> the 
Just try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I right, know. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... I, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the... Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! We got more of the bastards on this side! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's going up to security. Ah! Got a hit. Ah! I just shot the top of his head off. Nicely done, Bill. They teach you that move in the army, too. Can't you keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds?
and there's four of us, and we've killed how many of them by now? Probably about 20. Those boys ain't as quiet as us. I guess we should go give them a hand. What a mistake. You're done! Ah! 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 Never do the test of me! out of his elbow. Get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move.
Night kids. This has got to be where I was at. me to roam. I'm a rabble rouser and Dixie's my, is my home. All Jack of Diamonds, Jack, Jack, Jack of Diamonds, I know you of old. You rob my, my poor pockets, pockets of silver, silver and gold. Oh, whiskey, you villain, you've been my downfall. You oh, if you've enjoyed me, this stream, me to brawl. do the things. Like and follow. My foot's in a stirrup, my rivals in my hand, I'll be in sweet mom, I'll be in the land, 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 I'